Hello everybody, my name is Harris Sodi and I'm a final year computer science student at City University of London and today I'd like to introduce you to my final year project. So prior to my final year at university, I was fortunate enough to complete a 12 month internship at IBM where I worked on the Thames Water account and the Morrison's Innovation Project. Now as my placement was coming to an end, I asked my manager if he had any project suggestions that I could complete for my final year project module at university. My manager kindly pointed me in that direction of the brilliant John McNamara, which is where the Twitter communication web application idea came from. Now, as we all know, communication is fundamental to human life as it allows us to express our opinions, needs and wants, but also to share information and develop social relationships with one another. Now, unfortunately, our ability to communicate verbally can become hindered through communication disorders. This can have a devastating effect on the overall quality of life, for the individual suffering with the disorder and creates barriers to recreation, employment and education as basic communication becomes a difficult task. Augmentative and alternative communication, or ACC as it's known as, is used to describe the different methods that can be used to help people with disabilities communicate and this is also what the ACE charity specialises in. One such method is the use of assistive technologies which by definition is any item, piece of equipment or software programme that is used to increase, maintain or improve the functional capabilities of a person with disabilities. Now many assistive technologies rely solely on text-to-speech functionality. This is where the user will type into the system a sentence they wish to say and the system will perform text-to-speech so the sentence is read aloud. The problem with this is that some individuals with communication disorders struggle to formulate the sentences themselves and will therefore struggle when inputting sentences into the system in the first place. Another problem with this is that some individuals who have suffered from a stroke, for example, will find it extremely difficult to physically type what they wish to say into the system due to muscle weakness. They may be able to type at a very slow pace, so expressing long, meaningful sentences becomes challenging and communication is often limited to short phrases such as, I am hungry or I am fine. In both cases, conversing with another individual can take a long time, is hard and stilted. This causes the individual to shy away from conversations as they feel self-conscious and worry that the person they are engaging with may feel frustrated. So to overcome these problems, the Twitter communication web application allows the user to have a more natural conversation around a topical subject. The solution works by the user typing a short phrase into the web application in which they wish to converse about, for example, the World Cup. The user then selects the tone they wish to have for the conversation, for example, positive. The web application analyzes Twitter for relevant comments and questions that match the user's search and tone they selected. The top matching tweets are then presented to the user. So for example, what a great goal by Peter Crouch, amazing volley from the edge of the penalty box and now England are back in the game. The user selects the tweet which best matches their intent and the system performs text-to-speech to say it out loud. So the solution works on the basis that most questions and statements on topical issues have already been asked and stated on Twitter and already out there in the Twitter sphere, and finding this existing communication is a lot faster than the user who suffers with a communication disorder could type themselves. It effectively approximates what the user would have liked to say in the interest of speed and natural flow, thus enabling more fluid conversations. The sentences are already formed by another entity on Twitter, hence alleviating the need for the user to formulate the sentences themselves. So with that being said, I'd now like to show you a demonstration of the application and here it is it's currently running on the IBM cloud so you can access it via this link https colon forward slash forward slash twitter communication dot my net and it's very important that you use https and not http as some of the functionality won't work if you're connecting through http so here's the application um, I tried to make the user interface as simple as possible you know, so it's really clear for the user um, how to use it. And as you can see, it's just got one big search box where the user would input what they wish to converse about and then three buttons below for the user to click which tone they want to have the conversation in. Um, I've also implemented speech to text, which is using IBM Watson running on the IBM cloud. And that can be activated here. And the purpose of that is for so for example, if the user's carer wish to engage in conversation, 
uh, the carer could speak directly into the application and the user could respond. So that works by clicking the microphone button and it should turn red. Chelsea. And click it again to stop listening. So it's inputted Chelsea using the speech to text. And then the user can select a tone for the conversation. So I'm going to go with positive. Not too sure if there's going to be many positive uh, tweets out there about Chelsea, given the current situation. But hey-ho. So I select positive, and then I click the search button. Now what this is doing, it's going to go search for all the positive tweets about Chelsea on Twitter and bring them back. So here they all are. And then the user will select the one that best matches which they wish to say. So... So for example, this one, this is quite relevant. Hang off the pitch. When their number is up, it's going to be a sprint. No one wants to end up like keeper. Or this one. Tottenham Hotspur defender Jan Verdingen misses this evening's game against Chelsea with a hip injury, but should be fit to face Arsenal. And that's the application in action. So I've also, let's say you searched for Chelsea and nothing really came back that you wish to say. Then you can type in your own phrases. So you can type your own phrase and hit the speech mark and the system will perform text-to-speech um, as an alternative to the selecting a tweet. And again, this is using um, IBM Watson uh, text-to-speech, which is also running on the IBM Cloud. So if you click this. I hope Chelsea win tonight. I'm banking on them. And there you go. So it's as simple as that. There is the application in action. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, and please feel free to ask me any questions. Again, my name's Harris Sodi, and you can reach me uh, via my email, which is me at harris.co. So thank you, and hopefully you enjoyed it.